Today we're looking at Thomas Edison. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Thomas Edison was an American inventor who was a pioneer in the use of electrical power. He was one of the first to use the idea of organized science, working with research teams to develop new innovations. Some of the inventions he and his teams developed were the phonograph, or basically the record player, motion picture cameras, and of course the light bulb. Edison was born February 11, 1847 in Milan, Ohio, but spent his childhood growing up in Port Huron, Michigan. He was the youngest of seven children. He only attended school for a short time as his mother was a former school teacher and basically homeschooled him. From a very young age, Edison was fascinated with new technologies and was constantly conducting his own home experiments, a passion he carried with him for his entire life. At the age of 12, Edison suffered a terrible fever and ear infection, which made him go completely deaf in one ear and he could barely hear out of the other. Interestingly, Edison later attributed his inability to hear as one of the key reasons for his success, as he said it helped him to focus more and avoid distractions when working on new inventions. As a teenager, Edison learned to be a telegraph operator, and at the age of 19 in 1866, he moved to Louisville, Kentucky, where he monitored the telegraph for the Western Union. But he was fired from that job for conducting battery experiments while at work, and he spilled sulfur acid on his boss's desk. In 1869, Edison received his first patent for an electric vote recorder. A patent is, a, is authority given by the government to an inventor to be the sole or only person with the right to make or use their invention or profit from it. And patents are usually for a set amount of time and later other companies or people can copy the invention. Edison would go on to receive over 1,000 patents during his career. Soon after, Edison moved to New York City and worked as an electrical engineer, continually working on more inventions. On Christmas Day, 1871, Edison, who was 24 years old, married Mary Stilwell, who was only 16. They would go on to have three children together. But it was during this time he developed a new telegraph system that allowed for multiple messages to be sent at one time. Western Union bought the invention for $10,000, which would be over $200,000 in today's money. In 1876, Edison used that money to open the first industrial research laboratory in America located at Menlo Park, New Jersey. Edison was now running a business with a staff of other inventors whose primary objective was to conduct research and develop new technologies. Legally, any invention coming out of the Menlo Park lab would be patented to Edison's name, and Edison worked feverishly. His average workday was 16 hours, and he became known as the Wizard of Menlo Park as the laboratory began to develop amazing new technologies. Edison's first invention that gained him public fame was the phone phonograph, which could record and play back sound. In 1878, Edison traveled to Washington, D.C. and demonstrated the device for President Rutherford B. Hayes. In 1879, Edison demonstrated what many attribute as his greatest invention, the incandescent light bulb. Although, I must note, Edison did not invent the light bulb. British inventor Warren de la Rue actually made a light bulb in 1840, but it was too expensive to mass produce. What Edison and his team of researchers did was develop a light bulb that was economical and could be mass produced. By 1880, Edison founded the Edison Illuminating Company, which began to develop and install a system of distributing electricity to homes and businesses. In 1884, Thomas Edison's wife, Mary, died at the age of 29 from what is to believe to have been a brain tumor. Edison remarried two years later to Mina Miller, and together they would have three children. By the early 1890s, Edison's laboratory introduced the first motion picture camera, which they called the Kinetograph. The device was only capable of recording short clips, but soon after, Edison opened Edison Studios, which was America's first film production company. As technology improved, longer and longer films were able to be recorded. Edison's technologies extended into the development of batteries, x-rays, communications, chemicals, and even developing tires for newly introduced automobiles. 
Edison spent his final years continuing to invent and experiment, splitting his time between his home in New Jersey and his winter retreat in Fort Myers, Florida. Thomas Edison died October 18, 1931 at his Glenmount estate in West Orange, New Jersey. He was 84 years old. So with that, hopefully you learned something and thanks for watching.